Another Killer Planes video. Down and Dirty. Tips and tricks for keeping your plane out of the shop. Starring Steve Dirty Hands. Today, added spars gives you more strength. Who would have thunk? The hands are back, and today we're here with a wing and a prayer. I think that's the name of the movie. And uh, this is the other half of said wing. And this wing has a spar in it. Uh, we've already added an extension to that spar by putting another one inside it because I don't think any of these spars were enough. And that's why we're making this video for all of yous. So what we typically do is add two spars to any one spar wing for a total of three. Okay, so there's usually one in the middle here. And what we do is add one to the front and one to the rear so that you have an entire wing fastened together with spars so it can't twist, etc., in the center. And what you need to do this is the original spar, which we have right here in the hole, and then you need two identical size pieces of plastic or wood or something that will hold a drilled hole. In other words, you can't use cardboard. So the first thing that we do basically is determine where the bottom of the spar is uh, measured from the bottom of the wing is the way I usually do it. And then we'll take that measurement and drill a hole that's the size of the spar at the correct location on the two pieces which are taped together. And so we have our spar hole drilled there. We've already done that. And then in the case of any kind of protuberances on this plane, it's these two foam lumps here. Um, we cut those out so that we can slide these plates that we've made right up to the wing root surface thusly, okay? Let's pause for a rundown. What you're looking at is two identical sized pieces of plastic, eighth inch thick, taped together. And I've located the factory spar on my plastic and drilled a hole through both pieces together. I've also marked and cut out where the two foam tabs are located on the left wing. So now it's time to locate our spars. So, so far what we've done is gotten two pieces of plastic the same size, taped them together and then drilled the spar hole through, and we locate that by measuring up from the bottom to the bottom of the spar, and that's where we make the bottom of our hole. And then we cut out our two notches that we need to fit over those babies. And when we put this on the other wing, we can locate it by uh, putting those notches at the tops of these holes, whereas that's where they are here. So we'll be able to do that pretty easily. And our next thing is to decide where we want to make our holes in said spar. And what I'm gonna do, oh, there's a piece of tape there already, look at that. So what I wanna do is decide where the spar is going to be. Well, the tape's not in the right place, Steve. And then mark it, right? We're not gonna drill it here on the plane. We're gonna drill it on this here block of wood after we mark it out. Okay, so we want our spar on this plane to be pretty much right over the front of this baby here because we've already drilled rods in the front edge of this wing and we gotta stay away from them. So this will be our spar location. So I just need to make myself a center line hole and I know where the bottom is. The bottom is gonna be right there. And in the rear, same thing, we wanna locate a spar. So I think I want to put it right about there and right about the center of the wing, which as it happens, lines up with the top edge of this here piece of foam. So once again, I'm using that top as a locator. And we want to put it, let's say here. Why don't we say that, okay? And once again, we already know that we're locating it aligned with this top edge here. So. Now we have our two locations. I'll make myself a little cross line here and a little cross line here so I know where I'm gonna stick my drill. And then I'm gonna drill through these two pieces using a short drill bit, <clears throat> which I have brought with me here. 
Right, so I'll put my short drill bit in my cheapo drill and drill through both pieces here. Okay, and here. Let's look that located, come on. And there you are. And um, it's a really good thing to have your drill more or less perpendicular when you're drilling through here because you don't want to have it angled off somewhere. The whole purpose of these holes is to use as a guide. So now we have our holes drilled in our plastics and that means that we can take all this here tape off. All right? And separate it into our two pieces of plastic. And there we are. Okay, now, this is the whole trick. We put one of our plates on all the way up against the wing, and then we put the other plate on far out enough that we'll be able to use it as a positioning guide. So here, it's pretty much stuck on the wing where it needs to be because it's balanced on these foam pieces. Otherwise, you need to tape it on the wing in the position that you want it, and you need to notate where that is. So, in other words, uh, what we usually do is make the bottom of our piece of plastic flush with the bottom of the wing, and then we know to do that on both wings. So, now we've got our guide, and we're going to drill a hole through the two guides thusly, right, we put our bit in there and we drill in here. This guide will hold this bit parallel to the existing spar this way. All we need to do is look at it from the front or the rear so that we can align it parallel this way with the existing spar. We already know it's parallel looking from the top, so what we need to do is make sure that it stays parallel looking from the front, right? So we'll just do that right now. So this second piece here, by the way, it's uh, generally handy enough to put a piece of tape on either side of it so that it keeps it in place on this bar where you want it to be. Could you hold it in with a, another something in the other hole? Uh, you can. You can put a block in here and tape that on, put or a block on each side and tape that there, on. In the holes, the other holes. There's no hole there yet. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, so you can put blocks in between these, which I often do, and then tape them together with the block in between them, and that will keep the distances of everything proper as you're doing your drilling. So we're going to put in what I generally use is an 18-inch bit. That's this baby right here. What's the width? And uh, this is a five, it's three sixteenths or less. This is less than three sixteenths, right? So I'm going to turn this around now so that I can see it from the back and insert my drill. All I'm paying attention to when I'm watching my drill now is whether or not it goes up or down relative to the existing spar, right? And then just drill right in. So I'm going to hold this level and yeah, yep, get back there. Try that again. And yeah. Now once you've gone in, let's say two inches or more, that is the direction the drill bit's gonna go. So if you don't go wild bouncing it around, it'll just keep going now in the correct direction. All right, so I don't know. I didn't mark the bit to see how far I'm drilling in. So I can mark my bit with a magic marker with the simple expedient of sticking the magic marker on it and turning the drill on. All right, and I just made a nice black stripe on the drill bit. So pull it out, and we've seen that we've drilled in yay far. So 
Let's see if we can, does that go up to the plastic? It goes past it. Since we've already gone past the plastic piece, that means we can go as far as we want, basically. If I can get it back in the hole, there we go. And then, okay. So I'm gonna go another two inches. And then mark this. So we're marking it now so that we drill into the other wing in the same depth. All right. So we have, now we have our mark to drill into the other wing for the same depth. All right. And now we're going to go drill the back hole. Now, can you stick a rod in the other two holes to hold it? As a matter of fact, we could, but I don't have one here. Okay, so we're ready to drill the second hole, and the lovely Denise, who's shooting this and seeing it for the first time, said, can't you put a rod in the other hole there to keep it straight? And I said, duh, because I have never done that in the years that I've been using this method. <laughs> because yes, I'm that stupid. So. Look at that. If you put a rod in the first hole that you already drilled, now you can help hold this thing straight with the second rod. Now you have a pair of rods holding this in place. Right, so now we're going to go drill the rear rod. Rear. We'll put it in the... <laughs> <laughs> Cat bite. We'll put it in the rear hole, and I'm going to get down low with the, the at the height of the wing and eyeball my height, and here we go. So by the way, I use a longer drill bit so that I can continue eyeballing the height of the bit as it goes into the wing. I want to be able to see that it's going in where I want. And I guess the rear one will go to the first mark. Yeah, so this is the front one. That's the rear length. All right, and we will withdraw our drill and check it out with a, another rod here. Okay, and come get in there. And what are the size of these rods? And look at that. If you eyeball it from the back, right? They're all pointed in the same direction. Nice. All right. It helps to make the holes that you're drilling a little bit bigger than the rod so that you do have some play and you can make sure that your wing is straight when you put it together. So now what we do is we take this affair and put it in the other wing and drill the same holes there in the same location. And what size rods are you using on the outer? These are four millimeter rods and I essentially used a four millimeter bit to drill them. Cool. So, let's pull this, pull this, no, disassemble. pull that. Yes, disassemble. <laughs> number five alive. Turn that number five off and <laughs> degrease it. Or what do you do with <laughs> Kill the batteries. Right, so now we want to put in our, first we want to get these off of here. We want to put our spar in the spar location. He wants to spar with you. And then we want to put our piece on with the front facing front. A lot, most of the time, what we do is mark these things. So how do you know what the front is? We can say that the front. I know the front's the one with the hole right over the cutout. Ah. So then we're going to, and especially if you mark them, F for front or something like that, then you'll be able to. Now this is a place where we would want to use tape. Don't feel like getting out of bed today Cause it's just too hard to do That the front, I know the front's the one with the hole right over the cutout. Ah. So then we're going to, and especially if you mark them, F for front or something like that, then you'll be able to now this is a place where we would want to use tape to hold this in place 
right? So we're going oh, to... Okay, because it doesn't have those... Doesn't have the things... Nubs sticking out. Exactly. So we want to line it up with the top of the nub holes here, right? So we can stick a piece of tape in nubs there. Nubs or yeah. nubbins? <laughs> <They're>, <laughs> I think they're nubs. I think so. So now we're lined up with those cutouts. All right, and once again, front to front, and we put it out here, and then we put on a couple of holders so it can't slide in or out. Oh. And you just wrap some tape around there and make a flag on one side, and I won't be able to get past oh. that flag there. Clever. All right, and we're going to once again do the front first. So I will get my drill in the setup holes here and then get ready to eyeball it on the side over here. And here we go. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, there it is. Okay, so we're gonna use Denise's idea again and put a placing rod into the hole. Did you just say idea? I did. <laughs> Such a new walker. No, I said it like that on purpose. <laughs> on purpose, uh. right? On I purpose. think that's just a great idea. Is to make sure they're straight and. All right, and now we can test out our fit using three spars. Yay! All right, so. Here we go, the moment of truth. the first one, the uh -huh. second one, the third oh one. Oh my gosh, this is great. And there it is, all right? So we put it together, and now we have a three spar wing. Fantastic. Da, 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 da. Wing. And there it is. So the hands and the lovely Denise will see you on the flight line or in the workshop or both.